won't give up now. You crave the love I gave, and we'll do it again. A cold night getting warmer now. The ground shakes as our love gets loud. We are the champions, the champions of the night. We are the champions. Champions of the night. Yeah. Good evening, everybody, and um, welcome uh, to a late, late stream. Sorry, we, uh, I think YouTube are having issues, major issues, so you may or may not be able to watch this. The lag is so bad. You can go over to Twitch if you want to go over to Twitch. You can go over there now. Um, I don't know what's happening with Steve-O. Steve-O, we did have, um, an oh, well, we've got another issue here. Um, uh... Uh, that he's trying to join me on our software that we use to stream. Can you guys see me, by the way? Hold on, it worked for literally a second, says Harry Dawson. Good evening all, says Natasha. Uh, well done, uh, Harland owners, captainers, which would be everyone on this chat but with me. Um, right, so Steve-O is in the... Steve-O is in... I see Steve-O's now joined the, the, the program, Ninja, so hopefully we get Steve-O on... Um, Steve, can you hear me? Hopefully I'll be able to get to, uh, to get him on because we're using a backup for Steve at the moment. It's just, just, it's, it's just insane. This whole thing is just insane. Uh, nod your head if you can hear me, Steve. All right. Okay. Let me just see if I can get it so I can hear you. <laughs> like the, the YouTube's down. Everything's down. Ah, that's why I can see now. Right. Steve, talk. Talk, Steve-O. Have you unmuted yourself? Have you unmuted yourself? 
Yes, he says, yes, I have, yes, I have. I bet he's, I bet he's, he's saying that, I'm, I'm sure he is. Speakers, 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 speakers. Now, why is it that every time, like today, we had a really good, um, we had a really good stream, actually, with uh, the volley. And it just, YouTube just completely just ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. And I can't hear Steve-O. I don't know what's going on with the audio settings for Steve-O. But, you know, it's it's not coming. I can see you. I can see you, Steve-O. But I just, can't. hang on, let me try something. One second, I've got something. I know what I can do. Give me one moment. This might work. Bear with me, chat. We're doing live, live um, technical... There we go, one second. Let me just change this over. Let me find Steve-O's thing there. And we'll just put this in instead. Here we go. See if this works. Here we go. There we go. Steve, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can. You can now hear me. I can hear you now. Hallelujah. But the, the thing the is, the issue we may have is that we've got a buffer vill on YouTube at the moment. People complete. YouTube is such a hopeless app, says Harbour Boy. Streams fine, says Andy Chats FPL. All Elite FPL live streams buffet for me. I'm not the other, not the other channels. Just us, is it? Um, apparently, if you refresh, it works, um, says uh, Milan Milic in the chat. Hold on, it worked for a second. Put a link for Twitch on, please. Right, I'll, get, I'll put the link in the chat for Twitch, guys. If you are having issues and you refresh the stream and you're getting a load of buffering... This is where you need to go. So we'll check that's the um live event is over. What? Hang on one second. Even even my twi even my YouTube is uh giving me some jip at the moment, but they've they've acknowledged it. Okay, I've put the I've put the channel for Twitch in the chat. It's working on Twitch. Twitch is working good. Twitch is working good, guys. If you're having issues, get yourself over to Twitch. I'm sorry about the uh, the technical difficulties. It is YouTube wide. It's not just us. It's others. I was watching Mark Goldbridge earlier on as well, having some issues there. Um, Captain Salo and FPL and Watkins in Sky Harland crushed me. Um, well, let's just let's just start off by saying that uh, you guys that got rid of Haaland, I said all along that you're playing with fire. It's going to come back. It's going to bite you. There's going to be a time he's going to haul. Guess what? It didn't happen last week or the week before. It happened against Man United. Like I said, it would because United are crap and we're going to leak goals. And if it wasn't for Onana, it could have been five, maybe more goals for Man City. A Man City team that weren't exactly um, impressing... Um, with, with with lavish, exquisite football. It was very, very choppy for large parts of the game. There wasn't free-flowing football. Um, but yes, yeah, Devo, um, you captained Haaland. You held on to Haaland. Do you feel like you were battling the decision or was it always going to be a case of like, no, I'm going to stick to Haaland because, you know, he is he's the only premium uh, striker that, that, that had to get, that's in the game? And he's worth every bit of the money. Even though a lot of people said no. I stuck to Haaland because of the Bournemouth game, that's it. That is literally it. That's the only reason why I stuck with Haaland is because of the Bournemouth game because I couldn't go into that game knowing that there's a very high chance that Man City could do an absolute demolition job on them and score four or five goals. <laughs> However... Seeing Man City today and just being like they were against whoever they were playing the Champions League, just near. I'm not impressed by him, Jace, at all. I'm really not. So, mm. Liverpool, Tottenham, really, and Arsenal, three really good teams. Man City, they just win because they've just got really good players. That's it. That's It's just by pure chance that they're in a position where they can win if they want to, 1-0, 2-0, whatever, if they really want to. Um, today, as a United fan, obviously we did the stream earlier with, with Matt and, well, with Matt. And obviously you spoke very um, eloquently about your thoughts on Man United. I want you to 
speak again about just how bad they were today because they were just it's just embarrassing um i'm not i'm not i'm not embarrassed i'm not embarrassed as a united fan i'm not surprised i'm not i i i'm really not disappointed like it's like I knew what was going to happen. I knew there wasn't going to be a, a team performance from United, a, a performance that made me make, that would make me feel like there was a path or a road to progress and an improvement. I knew exactly what was going to happen. And I said, like, if City score first, it's going to be Ed's down, going to be a real tough game. Um, yes, City weren't playing brilliant. Onana made some world class saves. Um, it was the same old, same old, wasn't it? Left hand side, hit the ball up to Rashford. Rashford head down, not looking at anyone else around him. Charging, trying to charge into the opposition box, getting the ball tangled up in his feet. You know, get you know, maybe you might win the odd corner, but he ain't going to pick out anyone. He's not looking to square it to Hoyland. He's not looking to cut it back to Bruno. He's he's just interested in taking a play on every single time. Now, is Ten Hag saying to Rashford, right, Rashi, Rashi, when you get the ball, just drive into the box. Don't worry about passing. Just try and get into the box. Maybe you'll feel a contact. Maybe we'll go down. Maybe we'll get a penalty. You know, is he is he literally saying to Rashford every time now? just to go for it, go for direct, go direct, go direct. Because all he's doing, because he's not playing like that for England, he's not playing so selfishly for England. Now, is he? Is it something that Ten Hag is telling him or is it him just being selfish? Like in, the, in a United, I do not know. And I was watching Goldbridge before this and it's like, there's not one thing that, is a problem at United. It's not like, and I completely agree with him. It's not the, t- it's not like, you know, get rid of, I don't know, this player, that player, and everything's going to be better. Get rid of, you know, the coaching staff, that's going to automatically improve. You know, th- there's systemic issue. There's systemic problems across the whole of the club. And to answer your question, like I said at the beginning, I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. I'm not disappointed. I, I was not expecting anything from this game and I don't think it's going to change until we start to see a drastic, drastic radical, well, a full sale would have been nice, but it ain't happening. Um, oh yeah, Mil- Milix is on uh, is on Twitch. Yeah, it's much better on Twitch. Uh, the, the quality is better. There's no buffering, no skipping. If you are getting issues, then please go to Twitch or refresh or rewind 30 seconds. Apparently Nasha- Natasha said that's worked as well. Um, you're probably a tech guru, so probably easy for you. Dealing with the YouTube alone is bad enough for me, says Harbour Boy. Uh, yeah, well, it's just an issue. It's just it's, it's some things you just can't you can't help. I'm afraid, especially when you're doing live streams. Uh, live streams. Uh, Haggis or Haggis FBL. If Ronaldo didn't go, United Solskjaer would still be in manage. Literally, I I know this. Like one of the issues with Solskjaer was that we didn't see an identity of the club. It didn't seem to have a tactic or a plan B under Solskjaer. And one of the, my criticisms of Solskjaer was only plan A. So Oli had one, one way of playing and that was it. And it was attack, attack, it was attack minded. Um, whereas I don't see any plan at the moment. I don't see plan A at all. From uh, so, so I don't think there's a plan B. I certainly don't, I just don't know where we go from here. And I, and I I'm, I'm at the point where I'm like, I actually preferred watching United under Ollie. Like, and I'm like shocked that I'm saying that. I am shocked that I'm saying that. And, you know, to have Pep coming out and saying United were our closest rivals in recent years under Ole. I, I mean, part of that was probably tongue in cheek and to rile up United supporters. But the other half of me thinks, well, hang on a minute. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't really bad under Ole. Ollie wasn't given time because a lot of people said he was out of his depth and arguably he did. He did have some really bad performances, but at least there was passion in the team at that point. Whereas I don't, or, or at least more passion. I, I don't see any passion in any of those players. I mean, Onana today, man in the match performance for United. If you're looking at the best player for United was Onana. Yeah. Now he had passion. He was, he was up for it. Whereas no one else on that pitch seemed like they were interested in. I didn't see 
Um, Mason Mount was a, was anonymous. Regulon came on for, for Lindelof. Didn't see him. Um, you know, it's, it, it's just for me, it's the same old crap week in, week out. I can write a script and talk about the same old crap every single time we do a Sunday surgery. What's the problem at Man United? How long have you got? Well, the, the answer is we haven't got long. So it just pees me off um, that we're not, we are not learning. We're not going forward. We're not treading water. We, we're regressing and we're going backwards. And you've got the petulant kid in, you know, um, Bruno Fernandes. It's moaning and complaining, bitching and whining to referee after the game. And you think, well, concentrate on your game, mate. All right, because you're not exactly playing very well right now. You could easily get yourself sent off with the amount of times you you know, put in late challenges and and um, you know bitch and whine at the referee for a second yellow card. You know you've got Anthony that's coming on for five minutes and squaring up with the op- opposition player trying to get himself sent off as well. There's no discipline. There's no discipline in that team. There's no captain that's grabbing them by the scruff of their necks and saying sort yourself out, sort yourself out, get yourself. Sort the issues out on the pitch. You know, I, I, I'm I really thinking that we're going to finish bottom half of the table. I think we're going to finish 11th or 12th at the way we're playing. Like some people will be like thinking, oh, that's that. get off it, mate, get off it. But like, look at the way we're playing. Look at it. Just look at that. Does, does that spark fear in any of the opposition's eyes you know, in the Premier League? We, we've been lucky with some of the goals we've scored. Clutch goals against Wolves, clutch goals against Burnley. You know, we can't be relying on McTominay, like, coming out of the woodwork and c- coming out of nowhere and, and rescuing us three points. Or Delo with a wonder strike. Or Bruno Fernandes with an absolute world-class fluke freak goal that just happened, you know, to come out of nowhere. These things are not going to save us. They're not going to keep us in a respectable league position. They, and they shouldn't. They shouldn't do. And, and the thing is, these... The people at the top, the Glazers, who have got these this grip around the club, this real cold grip around the the, the, the life of the club, are literally st- are strangling the life out of Man United in front of our face. We can literally see it year in, year out, season in, season out. We just buy a few. We, we spend money, of course. We we've spent hundreds of millions on players, and it's been and it's not worked out. But the the problem is at the top in the sense that. The hirings that we've had, you know, in, in the in the in the people in charge of, you know, the, the negotiating contracts and paying the wages that we're playing, not letting go of players when we should be getting let, letting go of players, and and essentially doing panic last minute deals, you know, on on loan deals. I mean, look, I mean, we, there's been so many red flags over the years of players that we've brought in that have just been on a panic, and. Yeah, it's, it, it, we are we are a meme. I mean, it's a joke. United are a joke. They are a joke. And Fulham, they'll be looking at this now, going, "We've got a chance. We've got a chance here." And I don't, I don't go into any game now, going, "Yeah, I'm confident we can get three points." I should be going into that Fulham game as a United fan, going, "Yeah, I think we can get three points here." I'm not doing that. And it'd be and I'll be hard pressed for the remainder of the season for me to, to hear those words from me, going yeah comfortable. I think we should comfortably win that game. I don't see it. I do not see it happening. And I'm just gonna. It's gonna be like a broken record week in week out. Me getting pissed off. Uh, under Ole, you were beating bottom half teams comfortably. Under Ole, I was at least enjoying watching United. I didn't enjoy watching United today, last week, the week before. Literally. I I don't enjoy seeing Rasmus Hoyland playing, doing the graveyard shift, doing nothing up front because he's not getting any service. He's essentially just trying to mark players out of the game. And that's all he's trying to do. He's trying to just pull players out of the game for the likes of for the likes of Rashford to get some space. You know, Bruno Fernandes today was awful. Um, Mason Mount. I'm sorry. Um, I tried to give him an opportunity to kind of develop himself. He's not had that many minutes, not many games. I I agree that, but the games he has played, I've not seen him make any impact in. 
I'm not seeing him make any impact in the games. He's a, he's a, he's a very, he, he was a very, very good midfielder for Chelsea, but he brings Man United absolutely nothing. Ericsson today, I'm sorry, but he was anonymous also. Um, and I saw McTominay being given the ball more than Hoyland. Like, I saw McTominay being looked at by the likes of Ericsson, by the likes of Bruno, over Hoyland. Now, that, does that say a lot? It says a lot that they're, they're trying their best to go every avenue other than Hoyland, just using Hoyland as the distraction, as the one that's there just, you know, taking the centre-halves out of the game. You know, you keep the centre-halves busy, we'll just try and go around. And the Man City knew that. The Man City could see that. And there was never, there was never a time in that game where Man United looked like they were going to score. They, like, they didn't. They did not look like they were going to score. I said, there's, United could play for two hours tonight. They are not going to score a goal. Barring a a bloody Maguire header or a, I don't know, a freak deflected shot from outside the box. United are not scoring. They're not scoring in that game. No way. There's not going to be a, tri- a, a pass and go or a nice like triangle pass and move one two touch football goal there's not going to be any of that there's not going to be a cut back from Rashford to Hoyland or Rashford to Bruno there's not going to be that you're not going to get that it's the same old shit week in week out and it's not going to get any better and I'm still going to be bitter and twisted and that's why I was talking about Bovril because I need to drink Bovril to get the bitter taste out of my mouth and I hate Bovril um, distraction can't work if Hoyland is not scoring and getting a big chance Abs- literally Hoyland must have signed. He signed for United, um, and he must have been thinking, "Oh my God, signing for Man United, big club. You know, I'm going to get some opportunities here." Fuck. <laughs> Literally, that guy is. T- well, he, he he's going to have it hard. He's going to have a hard season. Put it that way. He's going to have to. He's going to have to bust a gut to get any half chances in any games because he's going to have to do it himself. He's going to have to make chances himself. Because he ain't going to get given any chances from any of his teammates. No chance. Uh, unless there's mass drastic changes. I want to see Rashford on the bench. I want to see Rashford on the bench. I don't want to see Bruno. I don't want to see Bruno Fernandez um being on the right hand side or being put yeah, out of position because of the likes of Mason Mount. And I and, and I want to see Bruno as well told that he can't keep moaning. Like, like I want a referee. I want a referee to send Bruno off with a second yellow card or because, or just give him yellow cards because he is awful at the referees. He is one of the worst in the Premier League for bitching and moaning. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Anyway, Steve-O, there's enough of me ranting. I can literally just talk all night about it and I don't want to because it just pees me off. My captain did well. I got 32 points. Me and you have gone and many other Haaland owners have captained him and got 32 points. We must be feeling really good. Beat out Salah. Beat out Watkins. Beat out Son. Uh... It's been an interesting weekend, hasn't it? Are you muted, by the way? You're muted, by the way. I thought I clicked on it. Um, It started off absolutely shambolically yesterday uh, with the likes of... I mean, I'm really looking at it from a Sky point of view, but just Brentford beating Chelsea 2-0, which the history got bang on. Um, Arsenal winning 5-0, very fortuitous that Saka only got one assist. Bournemouth beating Burnley. And then, of course, Newcastle drawing 2-2 with Wolves. Very frustrating as a trippier owner, a trippier captain in the sky. And then today, God, West Ham versus Everton. I don't know if you saw any of that match whatsoever. It was a poor... I didn't see any of that game. Good. It was absolutely diabolical and another one nil win which is now five times out of the last six uh, out of the last seven it's ended one nil to a team Aston Villa scoring as they always do but luckily for us Watkins doing nothing uh, Brighton 1-1 um, nothing for that Adingra whatever his name is um, a lot of people are looking at to be bringing in Alex Volo's punt paid off with uh, Ferguson. Uh, Liverpool continuing uh, their usual thing of uh, winning 
by uh, three goals or more. And then obviously we just covered the Man City game, which um, I really enjoyed that stream, Jake. So obviously, barring the really, really, really frustrating tech issues, really good, wasn't it? Um, doing something different. Yeah, so it was. Speak. It was good. Um, and I wish everyone over at the volley and, um, you know, it, the, the, the best of success on the podcast. And, um, you know, it's good to be invited on to, we don't get, I don't really get that many reaching people reaching out, asking us to collab with them um, that often. And when they do, we, we, we want to make sure it's with people that we can literally chat in a pub with, you know, um, no point doing anything that's, uh, you know, sanitized, you know, you limited in what you can say because, you know, you're worried about views and you're worried about being PC. No, not PC. You know what I mean? Um, upsetting someone. At the end of the day, you know, there's going to be people that are going to get upset about when some of the things that I, um, someone will be moaning that I talk about United too much, but guess what? I don't give a shit. Um, you, you know, the, it's, the, it was nice to, it was nice to have a new face to chat to as well. And it's nice to do a watch along, Steve, where our, our FPL assets did something as well. You know, that's not something that happens that often. So yeah, it was good. Um, it was good. Yeah. Ironically at the expense of your own team. And I mean, I don't know what, extent this Holland captaincy has done within our mini leagues um, is you've got the live FPL yeah yeah I'll bring it I'll bring it up now um, so I've jumped up um, I've jumped up over because <sighs> you said it was three points in the end between me and you who's Emmanuel Asare is it a Ma- that's um, what's his face one life soccer right okay I've gone over here. I've jumped over him. Yeah. I'm breathing down a man Dylan's neck. I've caught. <laughs> I've. I've caught up. I've caught twenty five points on on man Dylan. So I'm eighteen okay. points behind him now. No, sorry, no twenty. Twenty one points behind him, and then I've got Gabriel Rop. Um. Which is which is uh two points X so it's like twenty twenty six, twenty seven, twenty six twenty six points, and then you got you which is gonna be like thirty odd points. But you 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 got seventy six on net you got seventy six points net, I got seventy nine points. You're catching up Brew. Brew, you're actually joint on points with him. You're gonna be Six to three points. Um, so you're literally four, six. You're twenty nine. You're twenty nine points. Yeah, you're twenty nine points ahead of me now. Uh, and Brew as well. And then you've got Dan. Dan, you know our Dan. He's uh, he's going to be six points ahead of you. So you're catching him. And then you've got sixteen points between you and Blonde. So catchable in a week or two with Blonde. 16 points, is that it? Yeah. 16 points between you and Blonde. And Paulie, who's second. You're 16 points behind second. You yeah, are. Who's going to be top then? Harbour Boy. Harbour Boy is top. Yeah, he's a, he's a decent, he's on a decent lead. He's got 73 points this week. He had Salah Captain, Harland, uh, Son, Madison, Cash, Sitsimikas, uh, you got seventy. Yeah, you got seventy-three points. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Douglas Louise of all players getting the assist in the early game. Obviously, um, got an assist in the uh, against Luton and um, got two bonus points as well. He's <laughs> he's got Burn coming on from for Newcastle. Didn't get any points, which is crazy. He got two goals conceded. He got zero, and he got a yellow card as well. I had, I, I had, um, old your mate, Ch- Mr. Taylor, Charlie Taylor, on the bench. Mm. First wish, goal for Burnley. Can't believe tri- if Trippier would. It, I should have played him over Trippier. I should have done that. It was obvious, wasn't it? It was obvious. But yeah, all in all, uh, good FPL week. Seventy nine points. You get seventy three, of course. Um, you know, I needed it. I needed a good week. That takes me to 2.2 million. 
you're going up to, uh, I think I said it earlier on, you, Steve-O, no, 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 no. You are broken into the top 1 million. You are now 893, 893,000. So the fact that I can get, what was I, what did I say I was behind you? Uh, nine, four, six points, 29. 29 points. The fact that I'm 29 points behind you and I can go from 2.2 million to, to nine, you know, 890,000 with 29 points still easily done. So, um, not, not necessarily against you because you've got actually the majority of your players are the same as mine. So, well, not annoying. anymore. They're not, um, like I said, I did a rage transfer yesterday, well, rage transfers yesterday. Yesterday. Um, yeah, I did it last wait, night. Uh, wait, I completely missed this. What have you done? So last night I was just talking about how I'm sick to death of certain individuals and price values and all this nonsense. And I've got a plan in place for what I want to do, attacking wow. Burnley on game week 12, because I have to attack that game. Like, I mean, attack it big. And... And I had the exact, and I, I keep saying this when there's a sign from God that says you've got the exact money to do these transfers, I thought, fuck it. What was the sign from God then? That I've got the exact money to do these transfers. Okay, well, I don't know what these transfers are. And I got rid of that centre back, James Wall Prowse. Got him gone. You told me he was uh, brilliant. He dropped, he dropped in price last night. <laughs> Yeah, but he's he's playing in a new position. He's playing centre back for West Ham, so and he and he's uh, not even on set pieces much anymore. Um, based on today's game, okay. I then got rid of that fraud Sterling, who couldn't hit a barn door. Um, he's an absolute waste of space. All I kept hearing on the radio is um, he's doing really well. He's got past this player. He's got past that player. Oh, he's missed kick the pass. Always oh, miss, miss, kick, miss, kick the shot. Always oh, miss, kick the cross. Always oh, done it. It's just fucking embarrassing. And then I got rid of that archer um, because I thought, do you know what? I'm just chasing money here. I don't care. I don't care. So I brought in uh, Douglas Louise. I brought in Matoma and I brought in Enketia. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And I look at my team now and I go, actually. I've got rid of dro- absolute shite. And I've so you haven't got rid of Holland. You haven't got rid of Holland then. I can't, well, I'm not going to. No, no, but, but how weird would it have been if you had of, and then you've seen today and you've been like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> well, I uh, think. Cause that's happened to me in the past. I've done a transfer before they've played and they've, and they've done well. I'm like, Oh no. Well, it means then for game week, 12 against Burnley I'll have Enketia and I think I think I may I may get rid of Alvarez get rid of Madison and I'll be able to bring in Saka for that fixture and at that point I've then got oh no then I have three I'll have three I'll have two free transfers in game week 12 so I will get rid of Udogi as well. But there's also a plan potentially in place to be getting rid of Trippier, but I don't need to do that until game week 13. Haaland, though, is legitimately on the chopping block, though, for me. Uh-uh. Um, and this Bournemouth game is, which sounds ridiculous, but it's mad. What are you wanting from Haaland in, in game week? Well, next game week, basically. What are you waiting, wanting from on Saturday? Yes, Bournemouth. Yeah. It's, it's got to be hat trick, hasn't it? Um, I I don't know about hat trick. I think minimum of two, minimum of two goals. Uh, two goals and assist would be nice, but again, like like what we saw tonight. But I would I hat trick would be a bit of a stretch. I think two goals, two 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 attacking returns minimum. Yeah, is what I'm expecting there. Um, my team for next week is actually looking really good, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, not not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, um, cer- certainly, uh, certainly he'd be up there as a captain shout for me um, against Bournemouth. I mean, have you got any other ideas of captaincy other than Holland? Salah, 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 Salah. 
what were you with it? 50 50 or you um no it's not gonna be 50 50 it's gonna be more like 80 20 in favor of Haaland because there's no point in me keeping him and then it's like now nah, I'm not gonna even bother captaining him mm-hmm. but Salah versus Luton Let's just put it this way. In the last three fixtures, on two occasions, Liverpool have scored five against them. And that was in the FA Cup. What do you so, think What what do you think about maybe me doing Alvarez to Nketiah? Not before Bournemouth. I mean, as a rival, do it. Please do it. As a rival, do it. But that would be... Because Nketiah, I think, is going to go up in price tonight. Yeah, I think Louise is as well and everything. So, Sterling. Oh, I'm not worried about Louise. Yeah. Not care. I don't care about Louise. No, he's he's just an individual that's just ticking along. I mean, if you look. But at what would you do about Bowen? West Ham. Because he's Owen now he's he's, he's he's he returns blanks, returns blanks. That's what he's doing at the yeah. moment. He's the only player in West Ham I would look at. Of all the players in that team, he's. But the I was only worried one about that. Any. Losing anyway, to Everton, though. Threat. That's it. He's the only one with attacking threat, but it's West Ham. And... I'm, but, I'll be, yeah. Um, Brentford away, horrific fixture. Nottingham Forest at home. I don't really know much about Nottingham Forest, but then Burnley away. But it's three games away. But we've got an international break between Nottingham Forest and Burnley, would you Because I can... Do, you talk about... You talk about the... Uh, the the message from God. Yeah, 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 yeah. If Inketia goes up to 5.6 before yeah. next weekend, which is likely. Oh, he'll be, yeah, he will. He might go up too, but actually. Because he's cheap as chips. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, mm. I can do Inketia. So I, I can do Alvarez to Inketia, Bowen to Saka. It's Newcastle, though. I mean, you are it right. Is, it is Newcastle, it's, but it's, I, it's see, I see Arsenal God, beating. But it's a, it is a sign from God. And I always keep thinking if if, if, if it there, because if you, let's just say for argument's sake, you go, do you know Just what? bring it up on the air, actually, so people can see what I'm talking about. So, so literally at the moment, I've got Alvarez and Bowen, and, lit- and that would free me up. 14.2 million out of those two players. Saka in. Inketia in. And that's exact money, is it? Yeah. Well, no, it's po- I'd be 0.1 left in the bank. Okay, so Inketia goes up to night in price, which is most likely. That's You're down to 0-0. Zero, zero. And then yeah. there's a very high chance that over the next week that Saka or Inketia could go up again then you're down by 0.1. Well, at the moment, well, it's... Uh... But <sighs> yeah, yeah. Alvarez is at home to Bournemouth. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the one thing that's keeping me from doing and it. If I can to... hold it, if I can, if, if I can, by any miracle, not have two price rises from those players between now and next deadline. Well, you'd have to be doing... Well, Saka, the, Saka's... Not going up anytime soon. He's fifty six percent on the algorithm, yeah. and then you have got Enketia, who's shooting up like a bloody rocket. Is going to go up as long as he doesn't go up twice. I don't think he goes up twice before next weekend. I'd be shocked. I don't know. The way There's the only seventeen thousand people so far have transferred him in. Yeah, he's probably going to go up tonight. Yeah, but nuclear atoms. What I want to do is I want to um, I'm going to do it after the Bournemouth game. Oh, I see. Like I want to do it after they play Bournemouth. After Alvarez has played Bournemouth, um, because then they've got Chelsea away, Liverpool at home, Spurs at home. They've got some tougher fixtures than Man City and Aston Villa away, which is not an easy fixture at all. So for those those four game weeks, I would like to have Inketia. They've got Burnley at home, 
Brentford away, Wolves and Luton. But, yeah, but and, well, I say Jesus will be instantly back in the team. He won't be if instantly Nketiah, back. No, exactly. If Inketia, let's just say for argument's sake, he scores against Newcastle, then he's at home to Burnley. He gets two goals against Burnley. Why is Arteta going to go? Nah, clear off. He won't. He'll just he'll just continue playing. Well, I'd like to think he'd just continue playing him and. The, these well, let's let's just do it. Let, let me just do a poll. Let me just just do a poll. Should Jason do uh, do Alvarez to Inquisia? There will be people going. Oh, you're just knee jerking. Uh, and uh, it's, the fi- it, it, it's called attacking the fixtures. To Saka That's what it is. for game week twelve. It was twelve, wasn't it? And that's a minus four, isn't it? Yeah. That's for a minus four. Who who's West Ham got? Uh, hang on. I'll just double check. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Let me just start. Oh, they're away at Brentford, of course. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just doing this poll. Can't do two things at once. Uh, there we go. See what the chat say. Uh, if you oh, are on I the think chat, it's, it's 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 stupid getting rid of Alvarez. No, it's stupid getting rid of Alvarez now. Yeah, yeah. Alvarez now. But next week, so, if I can do it, I think I'm going to do that transfer. Basically, Saturday at ten past, uh, half past eleven. Well, yeah, soon as soon as I can do it. Yeah, um, but if he does, if 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 Alvarez, sorry, um, the the thing would be if Alvarez. Well, no, uh, the thing would be, of course, if the price rises happened before, like someone was saying in the chat. Uh, and Ketia, and Ketia Nuclear Atom says, can easily go up twice because of that. Uh, because in the first half of the season, the price rises are crazily high. Yeah, there's a lot of price rises that occur in the first half of the season. Um, I'm glad Brentford beat Chelsea 2-0 because I had Embuemo in both my Sky teams and had him since day one. Well done to you, Matty. Um, yeah, that was a, a result I did not predict. If Nunez is, is Nunez is playing against Luton, I believe Salah is a bad captain pick. Says Hegis. Uh, I actually think Saka is a, is enough. Jason, you have an you doggy problem. Downgrade him, and then next week you will have enough money to do Alvarez to Enketia. Yeah, but well, no, I'm always money. gonna I'm always gonna have money to do Alvarez to Enketia. Alvarez yeah. is six. Is he six point five? No, he's gone up now. He's six. Well, he's for me six point nine. It'd be the same for you, surely. Uh, Alvarez is seven point two. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, and and uh, and Kate is five point five, five point five, massive. <laughs> so I'm never gonna have a worry about having money to do Alvarez to and Kate is, but but a doggy is an issue. But what, what's the latest no, on no, doggy? No, 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 no. What's the doggy latest on will be doggy? Playing against top, uh, Chelsea, he just he he just didn't risk him against whoever they played. The other day. Right. Well, the way well, he said that, I've got a doggy problem. I was, well, hang on, is he out? Is he being confirmed out or something for a while? But no, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So um, this is the Sunday surgery. If you are wanting to come and talk to us about your teams, get yourself in the Discord channel, and we will bring you on. If you are experiencing any lag on YouTube, that you should try refreshing. If that doesn't fix it, and skipping back thirty seconds. Jump onto the Twitch, you'll get a much crisper, more clearer video than you see here, and you will not get any stuttering. Is anybody like. actually watching on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, we had 20 people watching the last stream on Twitter, uh, Twitch, and right now we've got 21 people watching us on Twitch right now. People are enjoying the crisp, uh, crisp quality. We've got Mill X in the chat. You should do what you feel. Fuck what other people think. Absolutely. Don't have to style that out. I got I got high accelerate. How you doing, man? Over on Twitch. Here we go. I've got the Twitch here. Twitch section going on here on the screen. Um get a jump to us on Twitch. You'll see everything you need to see. Uh apart from the chat, which I haven't got on here. <laughs> but there we go. Uh thanks. Shout out to all our Twitch uh viewers right now if you are watching us on Twitch. Um right. Twitch is very crisp. It is very crisp. Uh, Mr. Scruffy. Prime gaming subscription there. Yeah, go for it, man. What's up? 
Do you want to just quickly go through the YouTube chat league and the members league to see? If I you... have to, if I have to, right? Okay, so the YouTube quickly chat go through YouTube if chat you league. Go the team, VJ Garv, quickly. VJ Garv is top with that. VJ Garv is uh, he got sixty three points. He's down to uh, he's. Down, he's dropped all the way down to 3,889th in the world, Steve-O. He's not having a good time at the moment. He had Diaby, um, he got Salah. His captain was Watkins, you see. He, he, he messed his captain up. Um, he is a harland uh manager. Uh, let me just see here. And we've got Peter Scullion, who's charging behind him. Uh, he's actually... I say charging is 13 points behind him. Second place. He did have uh, Darwin in his team, got himself some 10 points there. He had Salah captain, 16 from him. He had Madison, he had Son, he had Cash, he had Simicass. Didn't have Haaland. So the top two in the YouTube chat league did not have Haaland. Then we got uh, Ramanathan in third. Your captain Salah. Oh, Ryman. Did have Haaland. Got himself 82 points, Stevo. Very nice score. He had Brian and Bremo. God, I sound like Jonathan Ross then. Boy. <laughs> he had Mr. Bremo. He had uh, Salah, Saka, Madison, Haaland, Saliba, Stimiscus, Shah, and Steele. And go, yeah. Uh, Steele, of course. You get save points, did he? Four saves. Nice. Um, Nick Treadwell's jumped down to fourth. Uh, he got himself 63 points. Um, so he's been replaced by Ramanathan. Uh, Treadwell had his captain Salad and he's had Haaland, but he did have uh, blanks from Gordon, Ward, Prowse, Watkins, yeah. Trippier. Oh, yeah, he's on for him, though. Shaw. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah Shaw's on for him, yeah. He had Braithwaite. Interesting. Bran Branthwaite. Unbelievable. Right, for the uh, the ri Rivals League, we've got Vijay Garv top, Peter Skelly in second. We've got Daniel Trubarek, Scousers United in third. Uh, he's got a fellow Sterling owner, Steve-O. Fellow Sterling owner, look at that. Um, Neto. He had Neto. What the hell? Um, interesting. Uh, Madison Watkins, Harlan's captain. Nice one. Well, he, <laughs> you laugh, but I legitimately was going to be bringing him in way before he got injured. That's not even a joke. I was just so... I was going to do a U. And I legitimately said, I'm bringing him Neto the second the game's over. I'm bringing him in. And then as I'm listening into the game, he does what he does. And you're just like, phew, I'm glad I didn't bring him in. Right. Are you on, you on there, by the way? Are you on the... You're not in Discord, mate. You need to get in Discord, dude. I'm, I'm there. Don't worry. I'm, I'm here. Oh, I can hear you twice now. What's going on? I'm here, but no one else is. Brilliant. No, I, <laughs> no, I'm there with you. Yes. But anyway, we're on Discord, guys. Get yourself in there if you want to chat with us. If not, it'll be a short stream. Um, then we've got, of course, the we've done the rivals on the YouTube chat league. We've done, mem we haven't done the members league, have we? Members league. No. So we've got uh, Tyler Masawi, uh, Tifa de Tealman's top of that. He got 74 points this week. Uh, yeah, Mbwemo, Diaby. Oh, he's got the dream. He's got such a, oh, just a captaincy shout, wouldn't it? He had Salah, Diaby, and Bremo all getting him double digit points in midfield. Then he had Madison. He had Cash. He had um, Haaland, but he didn't captain Haaland. If he had a captain Haaland, man. Nice, nice score, man. Uh, would have been a nice score. Oh, what's the, what's the average? The average has got to be like what mid fifties. How many he's going to get? And Bremo coming off the fucking bench. Yeah, and Bremo off the bench. Fucking hell, man! When you looks in, you looks in. Peter's going in second. Andrew Peskett, bad transfers are us in third. Captain Harland got himself ninety-seven. It's one of the highest ones to date. This is one of the highest scores I've seen so far. Ninety-seven points. Get this, this Stevo. Get this, Harland, Who captain. Is this? this is. Bad trans uh, Andrew Andrew Peskett, bad transfers right. are us. He has Saliba, Cash, Diaby, Imbuemo, Madison, Saka, Son, all getting in points in midfield. His point is midfield has just just bossed it this week. Harlan captain Watkins as well, obviously blanked, but hey, good team. Uh, then we have got uh, Matty T, three hundred and sixty no pope. He's dropping a bit like a rock here. He's got fifty eight points. 
maybe he wants to come on and chat with us. He had Watkins vice captain. He had Salah captain. He does own Haaland, but didn't want to captain him. Went with Salah instead. 58. It's got, that's, a, that's a lower score that I've, you know, he had blank from Burn and Trippier. He had a double Newcastle defence from Burn and Trippier, Steve-O, and Gordon in midfield as well from Newcastle, all getting him three players getting him two points there from Newcastle. And then finally, the Community League, which we don't really talk about much. Uh, I, I'm just seeing if our friend's still top. Vijay Garve is seventh. Patrick's second. Patrick Corbett's second now in that. He's joint second on 708 points. 708 points. That's 2,192 live rank. That's, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right. Right, we move forward. We move on, Steve-O. Let's see if we've got anyone in. We've got animations. Animations, is it? Animations, how, how's it going, my friend? Can you hear us okay? Oh, hang on a minute. Animations. Hang on a minute, dude. Um, change this. It's got some weird stuff going on. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, dude. How's it going? It's going all right. How's it going? Fine and dandy. Fine and dandy. Have you posted your team in the team, in the, uh, the team screenshots? You have. Well done. Well yes. done. Passed the first test. It's not, it's not like you've not done it before. Um, Take us away. What, uh, let me just bring it up on the screen so people can see right, what you've got. You've... The, dream, the dream triple up from Liverpool. Mm, yeah, I, I got I got pretty lucky with that. I mean, a few weeks ago, obviously, everyone knows I, I ended up taking out Harlan and got a bit of stick from uh, Matt E. Uh, win a lot in the chat. We're apparently copying Raptor. But uh, yeah, I think so far, I've probably been getting away without having Harlan for the past two to three weeks but I'm fully expecting like like you said Steve I'm fully expecting Haaland to get a big score against Bournemouth which worries me but, uh, yeah, I think the only upside yeah. is that the history suggests a tight game see this, this is the thing it's all about, hang on a second Steve this is the thing that irks me like you've got no Haaland but you've had to because you've got no Haaland because of this this guru that's gone out there and everyone's got this this, please, this mentality that you can go without Haaland and just go with a stronger team. You've had to bench Alvarez this week, which admittedly has paid off for you. It has paid off because he's only scored two. But that could have easily backfired on you. And you can have that same issue every week. As long as you don't have Haaland in your team, you're going to have extra money that you're throwing around in other positions. You're going to have to, a rotational nightmare and headache on who you should play and who you should bench. That team for me is is a frustrating team because you could be playing Bowen over Alvarez and get Alvarez a haul on the bench, or you could vice versa. You could play Alvarez up front because Bowen's got a bad fixture, and then bought Bowen can haul. This is what I don't like about the non Harland setup, which is what people are going with, is the fact that they've got money on their bench just sitting staring at them that can haul. What do you say about that? Well, this is this is the thing, right? With this team, I have the fun of just enjoying FPL, and I, I see what you're saying, like with Bowen and stuff like that. But if I ever have that feeling that one of my players isn't going to do well, like for example, Bowen as an example, right? Or like, uh, all right, let's say now I'll take it for this week, for example, with Saka, right? He's playing Newcastle. I could easily take a pun on Saka being benched, like on my team, and start Alvarez and have Darwin. No, against- no, no. Fixtures, but this, well, this is this is one of the I best get... teams in the Premier League, and you're gonna bench no, him. Know, you, know, you have to, oh mate, that's just stupid. Don't say things <laughs> like that. Yeah, but this is the thing, right? Who am I gonna bench for Darwin against Luton? Like, exactly, Darwin? that's what I'm saying. You can but... only play 11. No, 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 but listen here, right? I, I've worked a way how I can get Harlem back, but it's for a minus 16, and <laughs> I look at it in the no, 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 listen before you start laughing. I look at it in the long term, and my team looks good. But there's two ways I could do it. I could get Harry Maguire in, but then oh, f- Man United have been trash. What are you talking about, mate? No, no, but I, I can get I can get to a good team though and not get sure Harlem, but we can have Harry Maguire. Sometimes I'm not sure if you're being deadly serious or just trolling. Um, 
Harry Maguire should not be in anyone's FPL team. Yes, he's been playing better, but United as a team are crap and they should not be considered for any FPL. I, I was stupid enough to, to go with Hoyland, probably because I want to watch United with an FPL asset because I'm, I'm a bit stubborn like that. But anyone with a brain, anyone with a head on their shoulders, stay clear of Man United, stay clear of Chelsea. You know, they you might just just delete them out of your thought processes. For you know, I can't believe, you know that 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 even that any Man United player would come into contention. Maybe maybe Onana, I don't know, could still be an argument you might want to go with because of the saves. But still, I wouldn't touch any United. And and I think doing a minus sixteen to get Haaland in after you what did you wild card to get him out? No, no, I, I took a minus sixteen to get him out. Oh, so you well, well, this is it, right? Has it paid off? Yes, I'd probably say over the last two weeks it has. Okay, have you done the maths, or are you just you thinking you're guessing that? No, I'm pre- I'm pretty sure. From what from the players I've got in, like I've had Bowen and Trippier who have been getting returns in the last couple of games. I, I haven't had Ireland. Uh, obviously, Watkins has got a few. What's your um, uh, what's your what's your um your ID your your your, your ID your uh, team? Uh, ID? It's uh, two one one zero one. Okay, you carry on talking, Steve, because I interrupt. Well, animations is eighteenth or something or thirteenth in the YouTube chat league. Yeah, currently I, I looked at live FPL. I'm about 300k in the world as well. So you can't yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, it's not. You, you've you've done all right. Yeah, you got 99 points last week. You had Darwin on the bench. And you got four points, which is fair enough. But again, it's you've had to choose to bench Darwin, play DRB, or play Bowen, or you know you you ha- you're having to pick each week which which player to bench. You, know, you did, and the majority of your points last week come in from Salah. Of course, you captain the right player, um, but you know the the game week before that, you know you you've benched the RB again. You've tight, you've done it well because that was a game that you was just just being the assist of the assister. So yeah, but you've got, you've got Gay, but yeah, you're never going to play him. You got nine, but oh, I don't know. I don't like playing this risky game where you you having to choose a a very good. Um, ability player to point get points each week. You're gonna have right. I've got to bench Bowen. I have to bench Diaby. I have to bench well, Nunes. Devil's to... advocate, though, is working, though, isn't it, Jace? It is. It is working, but it's. But again, you know, you, you're playing Russian roulette, aren't you? You you're putting the gun to your head. It's gonna click a few times. It's gonna work out, and then one week, one time, you're just gonna say, "Well, that'll be the last time you click it." So, you know, I'm <laughs> a bit a bit of a dark <laughs> representative, but representation. The Benching Saka against Newcastle isn't the worst idea in the world. In fact, I'd probably encourage it. You no, don't, well, that, so you don't, you don't think you don't think that's that. going to be a you don't think that Arsenal are going to score in that game? It's not nothing to do with Saka not beating. Sorry, Arsenal not scoring. It's more the fact that Wolves just, scored two against Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, but that's Wolves at home. They're a completely different animal. If that was at home to Newcastle, it would have been. West Ham, West Ham scored two goals against Newcastle. Again, that was away from home. I don't know why it is. What, what, no, what I'm trying to say is that Newcastle... No, no. At home, they're a completely different animal. That game is going to be 1-0 either way. 0-0, 1-1, 2-1 either way. It's going to be a low-scoring game. And yeah, Saka could do something, but... Well, Liverpool scored two against Newcastle at home. Yeah, again, away from home. No, they were at home. Yeah, but Liverpool have got the hoodoo over Newcastle. And Liverpool are a very good team. And it wasn't like they battered them 4-5-6, is it? I'm not saying that Arsenal are going to batter them 4-5-6. I, I don't think that's no, a but, bad but, but, fixture but, but, because, again, it's going to be an open game, isn't it? It's not going to be... It's not going to be an open game. And no, the thing is, is that... Alvarez has got a more higher ceiling than Saka this game week, as a simple example. A much higher ceiling. Even Darwin as well, with Lewin as well. Yeah. What's your, so, 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 hang on, you're saying then that's going to be like a 1 0 either way? <laughs> yeah, low scoring 1 0, 1 1, 2 1 either way. Yeah. Wow. It ain't going to be high scoring that game, I don't think. Okay. I think it's going to be, I think, you know, 
I, I think it'd be two one. Yeah, I don't think it'd be high scoring. I never said it'd be high scoring. I think there'd be goals for. Uh, I think t- Arsenal are going to win it two one. Away from home, Arsenal just don't concede goals. Okay, they conceded uh, two against Chelsea. Um, but they beat Bournemouth. For, I mean, admittedly, these are crap teams, but 4 0 against Bournemouth, 1 0 against Everton, 1 0 against Crystal Palace. Just like, la- just like last season. All it is is just defend, 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 and hit whatever team they're playing on the counter attack. That is all Arteta's mm. plan is. And the history, if I just quickly look at it here, because the history's been doing really well this year, is suggesting a 2 0 victory to Arsenal. In fact, bizarrely, the last four matches out of the last five have ended two nil to a team. There's been one. It's been two nil, nil nil, two nil, two nil, two nil, three nil. So Arsenal do like playing Newcastle. In fact, the last time these two played, which was in May, when admittedly Newcastle were kind of on the beach by this point, but there was an own goal scored by Shaw and Odegaard scored. Um, so okay. it's looking in favour of Arsenal. Well, anyway, be, anyway, so let's just get back to this minus sixteen to bring Haaland in. How and when are Sorry? you thinking of doing to bring let's... Haaland back in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought How... you said you did a minus sixteen to get him out. Yeah, he did, but he's also thinking of doing a minus sixteen to get him back in. Oh, piss off! In though, I'd be getting Haaland back, but I'd hope that if if I get him back, I'd probably captain him. And hope he makes me back those that minus sixteen as well. <laughs> but no, but listen, 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 right? This this minus sixteen is is something in the back of my mind. But then the, the players I'm taking out though are gonna your, be like your, your luck is gonna run out yeah. soon sooner or later, mate. It's quite obvious that in the last few weeks you've been very fortunate with your selections of who you've benched and who you've played. It will. You play with these. You play with fire with these decisions. I don't know if you need to take a minus sixteen to get Holland in. You can do it with a minus eight. You know, you don't have to. Yeah, I mean, again, I don't know. I don't know what players you're thinking of doing. So I, I don't know. But can you not do it over a period of weeks? So you're not doing it all in one week, for example, and maybe just two, two minus eights instead of a minus sixteen, or uh, do it over four yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking because I, I think about it, right? And I think with Holland. It's kind of like with Steve, right? What are you saying, right? About he's going to have him for Bournemouth and then think about getting rid of him for the tough run against the other top six sides. I mean, barring Chelsea, really. I mean, Spurs and Liverpool and just some like and Villa, like they're going to be tough fixtures for Haaland, I, I would think. So if, if, if I get if I get unscathed from Bournemouth and he doesn't go and get like a huge score, then. I feel like I've probably won in that scenario, but then I'll, I'll get Haaland back by the time Lewin comes comes around anyway. So like, like you said though, like with the two, I could do two minus eight, so maybe roll m- with my team, and then yeah. I think it might be worth it. <laughs> um, you know, uh, there's some questions in the chat which I'll quickly address. Chat sport United worth keeping for Fulham and Luton. I think you got United, and depending on what United is, I've got Rashford. It's, <laughs> I mean, United to me are a void if you haven't got them. If you've got them in your team, then you've got better options in midfield and attack. Um, if you do it, if you've got no other issues in your team to sort out, then I would probably recommend moving them out for you know for Villa, New you know Newcastle, um, Arsenal, you know assets. If you haven't got Son, maybe look at trying getting Son in for Rashford instead. Um, you know, if you've got Hoyland, you've got other options like Ollie Watkins, you've got Enketia now, which is an emerging as being an option for Arsenal as well. Um which you can save a bit of money on and use elsewhere. And there's there's other options that are better than United are just a void completely. Um but if you've got them on, you t- you've got them in your team already, you know, don't be taking a minus four necessarily to get them gone, because that could easily backfire against Fulham. Could. Um but yeah, just yeah. Anyway, just I think you get my point. Um, we've lost Stevo. Stevo's taken a dive. I don't know what's happened. I'm sure you'll come back in a moment. Um, That's clear. I can hear him. I can hear Stevo. Yeah. No, you can hear him, but I can't hear him because we, we don't talk. We don't talk through this. So, 
Um, time to sort himself. Time to, time to sort out his thing. <laughs> right, animations. Thanks for coming on, man. Cheers, guys. Cheers, dude. Take care. Have a good <laughs> remainder of your weekend. Right, right. While we wait for Steve-O to sort out his shit, let's think about getting on another person. But I'll wait to see if he comes back first. Steve-O, where are you, man? Where have you gone? I'm just checking to see if the thing's working. Gone out of it. It's been a day of technical issues, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's been a whole day with it's YouTube streams. That, oh, by the way, is the YouTube stream still working? Because my YouTube stream is showing as error occurred. Please try again later. That's what I'm seeing. Um, my end. I'm seeing error. This is what I'm seeing right now. An error. So let me know if the streams. I mean, the stream health is health, saying it's healthy. Saying it's healthy. So I don't know. It's, you know, let me know if the stream's working okay. <sighs> I think we lost him. Let me just message him. I'm bringing on JR. I'll bring JR on. Steve-O to sort out his shit. Let's... Steve-O, can you hear me? I can hear you now if I'm unmuted you on Discord. Yeah, yeah. So, so, hello, JR. How you doing, man? Hi. How's it going? Yeah, good, 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 good. Um, so, yeah, technical difficulties. Steve-O, we might just have to get jump you on Discord for the moment unless you can get yeah. yourself back up on present. Um, JR. What's up, man? What's happening? How's your, how's um, your game we've been? Yeah, uh, I didn't have Harlan, so can't be, can't be very good, can it? Well, why don't you have Harlan? Is it because you've made the conscious effort not to have him because you don't think he's worthwhile having, or is it because you have followed someone else and their decision to do that? No, I haven't had him for a couple of weeks now. Um, sold him on... Uh, on wildcard to get a few other people that I wanted. And it kind of worked up until now, but I didn't think that... You Hang know, on, you got old. 70 points. Yeah, I know. Come on, it's a, what, it, God, it, it sounds like you've got 12 points or something. <laughs> you've had an absolute shocking game week. What's yeah, going on? Um, I don't know, man. Um, it's just oh, that, my like, God. I walked, I walked into the United game, right, and I, and I thought to myself, if Harlan gets 10 points or less, we win the game week again for the third time in a row because, like... Like in my head, anyway. It's funny if, that you. If oh. if if like, like to me, anyways, if Harlan gets less than ten points in a game week, it's fine because of how much he costs. Like, I think it's just fine if he got ten points every week for the rest of the season. Like when I don't own him, it's it's fine. But like after that second United goal and the way they conceded it, I was just like pissed off, bro. Like there's no reason for them to to concede this goal, the second one. It's just really stupid. Well, didn't um, Nottingham Forest concede a really sloppy goal to Salah? Wasn't that a mistake? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But like, it, it, you have to remember, right? It's it's Haaland. It, you're playing, you're playing against Man City. It's Haaland. You're, you're, he's the one guy who you should be paying attention to. And for United, oh, players, that, that unmarked, forward. yeah, the back post. Yeah, un, like they walk forward towards the ball. They're all ball watching, and he's just standing there at the back post. It's like. Okay. It was it was a, it was amateur necessary. hour. It was amateur you hour. You don't need to fold this hard. It's it's not difficult, man. Um, it's, it, it's, well, unfortunately, it's just, it's just annoying. Like we 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 take we take like a calculated risk, right? We we put his money to the side, his value to the side. We think we confirm these points. We can take the the ten point, maybe nine or eight point holes every single week, and it's fine. He doesn't need to score more than once in a week. And then United just decide to not play the game properly. Um. So, so like now I'm sitting here being like, I want to. It could have been worse. Harlan to be back. fair, he could have got a couple yeah, more know, goals. Yeah, I know. It definitely, could've... It definitely could have been worse. Hundred percent. Like now, now because of this, I'm sitting here thinking about going Trent and Watkins to like a four million defender and and, and Haaland. <laughs> even though I said to myself I wouldn't do that because I have two million spare. Like because because I, I, I wanted to hold it just in case I like folded to the. Uh, the Haaland propaganda or something being like I mean, Haaland is Harlan, uh, the thing. This thing is Haaland for me is always a keep. Um, because I don't I care I about the money. I don't care about the money because the money doesn't give me anything. You've you as well have got Alvarez. You've got to choose between Alvarez, Bowen, Diaby. Um, no, I'm benching White next week, but I think it's just very easy. 
True, but yeah, but what I mean again, he's plays for a good team. He's got a good chance to clean sheets. He's a, he's a he's a better asset in defence than than you know than the normal bench fodder would be. Yeah, um, Alexander yeah. Arnold. Alexander Arnold. Um, for me, is is not living up to his re- name and reputation. He hasn't done so for quite a while now. Um, he, he's almost. I don't know if he's changed his style of play, or he's just. I don't. I, I don't know what's going on with Alexander Arnold. He's I think not he's playing completely differently. I agree. I agree. It's, it's, something is, isn't right, and yeah, he gets found out quite a lot in defence as well. I I don't know. It's frustrating for me because because like. You know, it was quite cool when we had Robertson and Alexander Arnold just pumping points in left, right, and centre oh, exactly. week in, week out. And I think now it's just a massive waste of money. So it's quite funny because you've brought Alexander Arnold in for the same, and and you've taken Haaland out. And I would argue that the biggest criticism of Haaland was that he wasn't getting the points to justify his price tag. And I would argue that Alexander Arnold fits that bill as well. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> mm, so, but but yeah, I mean. Again, if you feel that you're going to miss out on points with with Haaland against Bournemouth, then so be it. You have got Alvarez though, um, so it's not like you've got no Man City. Um, but you know it, it could have fired them up today that win against United. It might fire them up to get some goals. You just don't know. Um, they've not been playing very well. We know that. Steve-O mentioned it earlier on in the in the stream earlier. City didn't play out the skin today. They just played better than United, which let's be honest, isn't hard. Um, I think, I think um, Solihull Moors probably could play better than United. They'll probably give him a good game. Um, but I think Alexander Arnold is on the would be on the chopping block for me purely because he's just a lot of money for not a lot of output at the moment. Um, you know, but the rest of your team's fine. It's it's a good team, and you know, there's there's no real emergency that needs to be done in that team um, no but I need to do something though that's why I've come on I, I, I want to like figure out something to do here Um, if I don't go for Holland right because I have two frees and I don't really want to burn one right now okay, yeah. so I was thinking I was thinking of like going Poro to, to Dallow which sounds like really stupid but no I don't, don't, know get, don't do get Dallow don't get any United players in your team maybe yeah, um but, like Poro Poro would be the one guy I want to sell at this point if I'm not going for Haaland, because um, his fixtures seem a bit weak now. So I, I was thinking about maybe going to like a, a Man City defender or something. Like, I don't know. Um, oh my God. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Let's have a look. Steve, I've, I've got, Steve, have you got any suggestions about what you should do? Two frees and two million in, in the bank here. Yeah. I would be looking at, and I'm stating the bloody obvious, the best defences <laughs> in the. No, well, I mean, you can go for the triple up on Liverpool, but the best defensive teams in the Premier League, from my point of view, are Arsenal, uh, you've got Newcastle, and that's about as far as it goes. Uh, from my point of view, it'd be looking at Arsenal or um, Newcastle. But in saying that, you mentioned Man City there, their fixtures are as follows. If we just quickly load this over here. Um, Chelsea, they'll keep a clean sheet against Chelsea, don't worry about that. Liverpool, forget about it. Tottenham, forget about it. Aston, forget In fact, I wouldn't be looking at Man no. City either. No, no. Crystal Palace could be a team to be looking at. Um, uh, they're shit. This is, but... this is kind of why I don't mind having um, you know, the extra bench spot, because again, I also think that City will keep a clean sheet at Chelsea, but... If I bench Walker the, the the three weeks, he's just not happy. He doesn't have good figures. I could just play everybody else. You don't, I don't um, think you need to. Like a waste Pedro, anyway. I don't I'm think not... you need to get rid of Poro. To be honest, I don't think that's. I know. I know. I'm, I'm thinking. Like, uh, Do you know what? Have you got any money in the bench? You, uh, in the bank, sorry. Two million. Yeah. Do you know what I would probably do? I'd be. Te- cool. I'd be tempted. I would be tempted. Oh, they've got Newcastle next. Uh, you know, what, I'd be. <laughs> You probably want me to have Saka in here, don't you? No, I was going to think of taking a punt on Nketiah at 5.5 million. Oh, take, take, yeah. Take, <laughs> take Archer out for him. Yeah. But I, I don't know, man. I think that um, you, this this whole thing of having two free transfers, losing a transfer, this whole burning a transfer burning a hole in your pocket, 
will it actually improve your team or are you just going to cause further issues when you want to move back to Harland or you want to do something else with your team? Um, I mean, there's not great, there's not an, a clear and obvious to, to borrow a, a, an FP, a, a Premier League term in your, there's not a clear and obvious transfer for Pedro Porro to bring in. Well, Liverpool defender. Simicast. Simicast. You could double up with Liverpool. You could do that. Like I mentioned that. We got Luton away. Yeah. Uh, he, how much is he? He's, he's 4.5. 4. So you, 5. How much is Porro? It doesn't matter, uh, does it? 5.1. 5.1. 5. 5. 5. 5. 1. So you're going to get you half a million from him. So you're freeing up a bit more money. Simicast is good to go for a few months. So, um, yeah, I think I'd probably, if, if, I'd probably just do Poro to Simicast. I know it's, you, you know, I think against Luton, that's pretty much as close to a guaranteed clean sheet as you're going to get. Yeah. Um, and then just have that 0.5 extra in your bank. Gives you a little bit more flexibility of what you have know, changing or reacting and, you know, evolving your team moving forward. You can go into next week with that transfer bank to get two transfers for next week and then possibly look at Enketia again. If Enketia does well against Newcastle, get on top of him. Get him in. Because you can you could easily do Archer to Enketia and then have another option there to, to play him. Um but then you are again you are with the Haaland less team, you've got such a, a wealth of options at that point. You're scratching your head each week yeah, wondering no, who you're playing. No, no, no. So it's 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 one of the, it's like the pros of No Harland is you've got variety and you've got a great so, a solid team. The cons are, you know, you, 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 you don't know, you can't play everyone. Um, yeah. I'd be looking to get Harland back in personally. Uh, is what I'd be doing. I'd be getting I, Alexander. I just, I just don't want to sell Watkins if you right got, now. If you take I think it'd be like a really bad time to sell him. Bro. How much do you have? You got two million to Alex. So Alexander, yeah, Arnold, how I much can, is he? I can, I, like right now, I can go. I can go. Um, can you Watkins do Alexander? Arnold, can you do Alex? You can do what? I, I can go Watkins to Holland and then Alexander Arnold to like a four million defender. But oh, you can't do Simicast. Yeah, not not enough to say. Yeah, if it was Simicast, uh, I probably would have done it already. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if um, you want to get rid of Watkins though. I don't think so. I don't think so. That, that's the reason why I got him. Switches are too nice. Switches are too nice for now. So this is why I said to myself, I wouldn't have Holland until game week sixteen, because Watkins's switches are just a bit too nice. Mm. Well, maybe you've set. Maybe you've just Especially, made your. Maybe you've just made yeah, exactly. that bed. I'm now. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm you have to, just, to go with it now. I'm have to just deal with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that maybe you just. You know, obviously reacted to tonight's scoreline. I think you're right. I think United handed Haaland you know, on the plate, that second mm. goal. I think, I think any other team would never have left him unmarked like that. That's what um, I'm saying. I, like, I think so everyone else would just have enough. Like, is Harlan going to get? Is yeah. Harlan going to get a goal and assist every week? No, he isn't. So I think I think you've probably already come to the conclusion that yeah, at the very at the very least, you could just do Simicast in for Poro, just roll the transfer and, just, and then reassess next week. Don't. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't make um, early decisions. Just just roll with your plan. Go without him. You've made that decision now. You might as well just own it. And go without yeah, it. Play yeah, bench yeah. bench white and play um, Alvarez next week. You've got that Man yeah. City option up front. So if City do score a few goals, you're hoping to get you know mitigating uh, points from Alvarez. So you know that's why that's probably the best move. Sure. Um, one more thing. Uh, do you think that? Uh, Madison and DRB to uh, Saka and Martinelli would be all right the week after. Yep, do it. Oh yeah. Is that, uh, this is this is all, this is another reason why I've left this extra money in here so I can do Yes, I like that. Um, yeah, that, that obviously means no Enketia, but like he was never really someone I was thinking. Yeah, but him. yeah, I think I think that um, to get to get Martinelli and Saka in. Um, you know, the fixtures are nice, aren't they? A, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, move, they 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 open up really nice up until I mean they've got they've got Liverpool in on twenty third. Pretty much up until the twenty third of December, the fixtures are nice. Yeah. Um, so so yeah, I would uh, probably just probably do that. To be fair, cool. Because um, I don't you know barring Haaland doing what he did last week last season where he's just scoring hat tricks and stuff like that. Barring that happening, I don't think you need to rush to get him back in uh, prior to game week. What's his 16? 
16, yeah. And, and, so, and yeah. if I do do this, it, it means that to get Haaland back, I'd need to sell Salah instead. Um, or, or Son, or, or, Son, or uh, you, know, you just don't know what's going to happen with, 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 with Tottenham. You know, they've started, they've yeah. brilliant under, I mean, Andrew's done a great job. You've got, you've got Madison and Son at the moment. Things may change. I mean, their fixtures will change. Um, you know, they're, they they're going in they're going into a tough one actually at the end of November they get Villa at home Man City away yeah West Ham at okay. home which isn't an easy game and then Newcastle at home which is not an easy game so so it might be a case that game week um game week thirteen comes along they've played Wolves maybe they have not done as well yeah because that's a bit of a bogey game as well to be honest I I'd be maybe having the thoughts of getting Harland in by taking Son out Alexander out. Um, maybe Madison as well. I don't know. Just, just, just assessing, assessing week in week out, like your options. Don't necessarily go oh, right. It's going to have to be this person that's going to fund uh, Harland because you probably could just jig out, jig out those Tottenham players and Alexander Arnold and get that money in. Sure. But get, but the great, the, the, great thing is, the great thing about this is you have got various ways of doing it. You're not you're not limited to X and Y player. You're not having to do a minus sixteen like we just had a minute ago. With that, you know, yeah, I, that's I don't. Like, I haven't taken a single hit the whole season. Um, right. Well, it, I, I, I can't imagine that. taking I don't it say minus taking eight it. and sixteen for yeah, yeah, It's ridiculous. It, so. it, it, well, it's worked out for him so far. He's done. He's done all right. So um, he's doing all right. So um, I mean, he's five hundred k. I think he's going up to three hundred k. He said, but so so he's made he's made decisions that have paid off. In the short term, but will it pay off in the long term? We don't know, especially if you take exactly. the minus 60. But anyway, going back to your team, I think you've made solid decision-making uh, thoughts moving forward. I, uh, I think don't overcomplicate it. Don't don't try and solve game week 16's problems now. Let's just see how right. it goes, because a lot can happen between now and there. It could be injuries. There could be suspensions. There's, you know, there's so many things that can happen. So... Just have those ideas in your head and then move forward each week, each week, and each week. And certainly having that extra transfer in the bank moving into next week is, is nice. It's a nice little bonus for you as well. Sure, man. Appreciate it. Thanks All right, again. man. Cheers for coming on. Cool. See you, man. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Right, Steve. Really annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just us now, mate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I think, say, I think... It just annoys me. The, these individuals who have uh, not gone Holland, they're still on top in my opinion and I think that at the moment at the moment I think they have got we need decisions we need and I say we as the royal like we as in the Holland owners we need to see at least a, like we said earlier on double return minimum we need a goal and assist or two goals no 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 no, no. it's got it's got to be it's got to be two goals minimum uh, th- forget 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 a, a, an assist it's got to be two goals minimum against Bournemouth well, in a in a in a in a five or six nil win because oh no no, no if it's a five nil. six nil I want it to be more than t- I want to be at trick then if that's a five if a five nil six nil it's got to be at trick so far this season this is Man City's last several games and whether it's wins or losses one nil two one three one one nil two one three one three nil they got Bournemouth next. That has got to be a minimum, a minimum of three goals in City's favour. Well, or you're transferring them out, or you're getting him gone. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, he's pretty oh, much... Oh, steve is getting on and gone, here we go. The, go on then, chop him off, chop him, block him, go on. He's put, no, 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 I've, I've looked at my team and I've, I've got it in front of me right now. And it, the one sacrificial lamb I'd probably do is... Alvarez out, but it means that I can't get Watkins, and I'd rather have Watkins um, coming in for Alvarez slash Holland. That's what I kind of need to do, but I can't do it yet. I mean, I wouldn't be doing that until game week thirteen or fourteen anyway. So Holland staying for now. For again, now, again, let's just see how it goes against Bournemouth. Right, Steve, I'm going to shoot off now. I'm going to get. I'm going to get gone. Um, thank you for the callers that came on. Um, thanks for bearing with us with the uh, stream lagging um, earlier on. I think it's I think it's solved now. I think it's it's not an issue. Um, reminder to follow us on uh, social media at LEFPL. Hit us up on Twitter. Um, hit us up on 
Discord, uh, Elite FPL on Discord, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Uh, we will be next live on talking about game week, what was it, 11? Game week, yeah. what, what game week are we on? Game week 11. Game week, game week yeah, yeah, game week 11, which is coming thick and fast. It'll be next Saturday, obviously. I think this week's going to fly by, mate. I really do. We'll be, Thursday night, we should be back. Is that right, Steve-O? Thursday night? Yes. Pre- yep. Yeah. Um, and looking at the games, we'll talk about it. Uh, I will be able to probably do the 3 p.m.s on the Saturday because there's a lot of them and there's the Man Excellent. City playing. So I'll be able to do that. So, so there's going to be a lot of streams over the weekend because uh, we've, we've also got... Um, my United playing at lunchtime, so we'll be able to react to United's uh, the Fulham United game going into those three o'clock. And then we're going to have to Sunday surgery as normal. Right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Steve, have you got any final thoughts before we let you go? Make sure you're unsubscribing. <laughs> <laughs> unsubscribe and subscribe again. All right, take care, guys. All the best. <laughs>